Israel was involved in the production of Hezbollah militants' pages that exploded in Lebanon this week. The operation had been in preparation for at least 15 years, citing ABC News. A source within U.S. intelligence indicated that Israel may have been planning an operation against Hezbollah militants for at least 15 years. According to the source, the CIA had long been reluctant to use this tactic due to the high risk posed to civilians. It was reported that front companies connected to Israeli intelligence officers participated in planning the attack. These companies acted as a cover for the actual manufacturer of the pages and some employees were unaware of who they were working for. According to ABC's source, the pages contained one to two ounces of explosives and a remote switch to trigger the explosion. ABC reached out to the Hungarian company BAC Consulting, which had contracted with Gold Apollo in Taiwan for the production of the pages. However, neither company responded to requests for comment. A spokesperson for the Hungarian government said that the pages had never been in Hungary and that the company was a trading intermediary with no manufacturing or operational site in Hungary. On September the 17th, explosions occurred in Lebanon. It was later revealed that pages used by Hezbollah militants had detonated. The following day, a second wave of explosions occurred in Lebanon. Media reported that this time, radios used by some Hezbollah militants for communication exploded. According to Lebanon's Minister of Health, at least 37 people were killed and about 3,000 injured in the explosions over the two days. Israel committed a massacre by detonating thousands of pages across Lebanon, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah has said, describing the operation widely attributed to Israel's Mossad as a declaration of war. In a highly anticipated speech following this week's attacks, Nasrallah accused Israel of committing a massacre without regard for civilian casualties. This is sheer terrorism. We'll call them Tuesday's massacre and Wednesday's massacre. These are war crimes, or at least a declaration of war, Nasrallah said. Noting that some of the devices had detonated in schools, hospitals and residential buildings, the Hezbollah chief said the operation had crossed all restrictions and red lines. There is no doubt that we suffered a major security and humanitarian blow unprecedented in the history of our resistance, he conceded. But we have been hit hard. But this is the state of war, and we understand that the enemy has technological superiority. It is also worth noting that Israel carried out airstrikes on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. Israeli soldiers staffed a new artillery position in the Israel-controlled Golan Heights as tensions rise on the border with Lebanon. It comes after the leader of Hezbollah vowed to keep up daily strikes on Israel despite this week's mass bombing attack on its communication devices, and said Israelis displaced by the fighting from homes near the Lebanon border would not be able to return until the war in Gaza ends. Hezbollah and Israel launched fresh attacks across the border as Hassan Nasrallah spoke for the first time since the deadly device bombings he described as a severe blow. He promised to retaliate. The two days of attacks targeting thousands of Hezbollah pagers and walkie-talkies have been widely blamed on Israel, heightening fears that 11 months of near-daily exchanges of fire between Hezbollah and Israel will escalate into all-out war. In recent weeks, Israeli leaders have stepped up warnings of a potential larger military operation against Hezbollah, saying they are determined to stop the group's fire to allow tens of thousands of Israelis to return to homes near the border. In a Thursday briefing, the Israeli defense minister said Hezbollah would pay an increasing price as Israel seeks to make conditions near its border with Lebanon safe enough for residents displaced by the fighting to return.